Good everyone, welcome back. It is your favorite tutor and today is your favorite tutor on physics. Okay, continuation from where we stop under the topic elastic properties of solid. Okay, today we'll be solving a question. All right, are we ready? It says, a force of two Newton stretches an elastic material by 30 millimeter. What additional force will stretch the material by 35 millimeter, assuming the elastic limit of the material is not exceeded? Now, if you look at this last statement, the last statement, assuming the elastic limit of the material is not what exceeded. Now, what does that mean? Remember, in our previous class, according to Hooke's law, it says that so long we do not exceed the, word, the limit, the elastic limit of the material, the extension is directly proportional to the word force. What does it mean not to exceed the word, the elastic limit of the material? It means not to go beyond the material elasticity. Not to go beyond the material elasticity. Because if we go beyond the material elasticity, the material, the elastic material, will not return back to its what original shape after we remove the word distorting word force. All right. For example, we are still using the word rubber band as a case study. Now, this, this rubber band, there is a point if we, by means of going beyond the, the material elasticity, if we go beyond this, this rubber band, if we go beyond its elasticity and then we remove the force, this rubber band will not return back to its what, original shape. It's going to cause what slacking of the rubber. It's going to slack. It will not remain the same. It means that we have, we have, we have what, gone beyond the what, elastic limit. And if we go beyond the elastic limit, Hooke's equation is not what, applicable. But in this case, since we do not go beyond the word elastic limit of the material, since we do not exceed the elastic limit, it means that Hooke's equation is applicable in this question. And what is Hooke's equation? That is what? Force, directly proportional to the word extension, is applicable in this word question. So we are going to use Hooke's equation to solve this question since we do not go beyond the material's elasticity. All right, let us solve. Okay. Okay, all right. It says, well, solution. Solution. Okay, so what are we looking for right here? What are we looking for right here in this question? First of all, what are we looking for? What additional word force? You can see I underlined the, the words here. What additional force? So, we are looking for what additional word force. So let me call it a F. That's what we are looking for, additional force. Now let me explain this, everything that is here. Let me explain it. All right. From the question, it says the force of two newtons stretches an elastic material by 30 watt millimeter. What additional force will stretch the material by 35 millimeter? For example, if this is the original length of the material, let's say from year to year, we call it what? Length one, original length. And then we add a force of what? Two Newton. Force of two Newton give us what? An extension of what? 30 what? Millimeter. Okay, now, what additional force will give us what? An extension of what? 35 watt millimeter. If from year to year is what? 30 millimeter due to what? Force 2. Now, from year to year, give us what? 35 watt millimeter from this original length. To length to this other side, give us what 35 volt millimeter. And what is the force that, that brings us to what 35 millimeter? We don't know the force. So, therefore, question mark, we don't know the force. So, we call it what force two. Why this is what force one? This is what extension one. This is what extension what two. 
but we are looking for what additional force, the force that was added towards force two. Sorry, the force that was added towards force one to give us 35 millimeter. What force that was added to force one to give us what 35 millimeter? The additional force is going to be force two minus what force one. Ladies and gentlemen, are you still with me? Okay, what additional force was added to what force one to create an extension of what 35 millimeter? The, to get this additional force, the additional force is within this what this space. That is the amount of Newton that was added to what force one to get to this place. So to get to this place, if we subtract force two from force one, we get the what additional force that was added to force one to get to what thirty five millimeter. So. Our major aim right here is to get what force two. And we remember the equation, the equation F1 all over what E1 equals to what F2 all over what E2. Equation under the Hooke's law, under Hooke's law. All right, we are looking for what force two. So we make force two subject formula. Force two is equals to Therefore, F1 times what E2 all over what E1. So therefore, force 2, force 2 is equal to what is F1? That is what 2 times what E2, 35 watts, 35 millimeter, all over what E1, which is what 30. So therefore, force 2 will give us. This will be 2.33 watts Newton. 2.33 Newton. Then additional force is equal to what? Force 2 minus what? Force 1. Because we are looking for what? The additional force. Therefore, additional force. Let me write it in full. Is equal to what? Force 2. What is force 2? Force 2 is what? 2.33. Minus what? Force 1, which is what? 2. Additional force is equal to what? 0 0.33 watts Newton. So when we add 0 0.33 Newton to 2 Newton, the, the, uh, the material gets to what? 35 watts millimeter. When we add 0 0.33 Newton to what? 2 Newton, the material gets to what? 35 millimeter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this whole episode. Please, you can take this down. Take your time and go through it again. I remain your favorite tutor. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you and God bless you.